peace. Today is um, October. October or the number or the letters oct actually means eight, just so you know. You know that because of octopus, remember? Octagon. Anyway, pressing on. 28th Gregorian calendar year 2023. Meanwhile, according to scientific evidence, this land, planet, plane of existence. Is trillions of years old. But again, pressing on. I'm going to jump back into the Moors, Mexicans, and other South Al Moroccan indigents by the good brother Grand Sheikh Taj Tariq Bey. We left off on page uh, 16, and uh, it was the second half of the page after having read through the silent weapons for secret wars and from information, yeah, for quiet wars. Quiet secret. Mm. But anyway, yeah. Solid weapons for quiet wars. Yeah. Rex 84. King Alfred Plan. Executive Order 11 for, uh, 490. But uh, continuing on, page 16. Societas Republicae e al Americanos, Northgate Territory. The Christian Black Codes <laughs> I said the Christian Christian black codes have played a most important role to supplement slavery, pseudo history, and pseudo law for the U.S. Correction, let's go back. For the U. S. Demo. European colonists who rule from the north with corruptive intent. The original United States is Societas Republicae e al Americanos, Moricanos. That's Moricanos. M A U R I K A N O S from a Moorish Latin tongue. The true ancient and organic Great Seal Federal Government of the Moors. Northwest Amexum. Northwest Africa, North America is the heartland of the Moroccan Empire. This northern part of the universe is known as the North Gate. The fall of the Moorish Empire and the subjugation of the Moors of the North Gate empowered and enriched the conquering Christian Crusaders to an 
ascended level never imagined. I'm going to pause right there right quick because I'm going to go back. Yeah, I need to highlight that. So I'm going to go back to that in a second. In the beginning of that paragraph, previous paragraph. This is, uh, correction, this was and is the main motivating factor for the conquering and occupying inquisitionist dedicated suppression of truth and history. Exposure of such truth will expose them and obstruct expose them and obstruct their insatiable desire to use the North Gate as a launching pad to conquer the natural people across the globe and to greedily control the resources of the rest of the Asiatic world. What keeps happening every every couple of months, couple of years in so called Gaza, Gaza Strip and all of that, Palestine, Canaan land, Canaan, Moabite, Moab, Moor, same people, Egypt, so called Africa. Pressing on. The Demo Mission and Predisposed Christian Black Codes, again, Christian Black Codes agenda unavoidably involves the suppression of the Moors, Al Moroccans of the Northwest, who've been branded as blacks. Negroes, colored folks, Indians, West Indians, Latinos, ETC, Negro American, Afro American, African American, American Indian, Native American, pressing on this branding system is primal to the peregrine penguins peregrine cohorted pilgrim looking like a In the suit. European Christians long term plans for occupation and for assessing bonds and liens as being surety holders. I read that last sentence again. This branding system is primal to the Peregrines, European Christians' long-term plans for occupation and for assessing bonds and liens as being surety holders. The indigenous Mexican Almoracans of the South who have been artificially displaced socially and politically from their own ancient lands are the target are the targets of that same demo agenda perpetuated by the same European reconstructors of history and geography and backed by fraudulent unsanctioned anti constitutional corporate demo government body politic. If you go read the Constitution, it says a constitutional republic. I'm going to break right fast, grab that, read that for you.
We dig go tight. But Article 3 has some very important terminology, but no, in fact, all of it, all of it. I don't even have my headphones back yet. Yeah, but let's get back. Let's get back to that right fast. So... just read how it's a anti-constitutional corporate demo government body politic here was here's why that set of words terminology and information being documented for you for your comprehension is for this piece of very important information in the government do- governing document, the contract between the natural people and those who were allowed to be here to do business. On the land, Article 4, Section 4 of the United States Constitution uh, for the Constitution or the Constitution for the United States of America. Those prepositions and whatnot are important. The Constitution for the United States of America, North Continent. Article 4, Section 4, and read as thus, the United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or of the executive when the legislature cannot be convened against domestic violence. Context concerning the Constitution ratified in 1791. We, the people of the United States, we, the people of the United States, in order to form 
a more perfect union, a more perfect union. Establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general general welfare, and secure the blessings. Should be blessings. And once you look up the word blessing, you'll really know. Of liberty to ourselves and our posterity do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Mm-hmm. States are estates and and all of those it states you will find the original names of all countries around the world because this was supposed to be a haven of righteousness. Anyway, pressing on. The indigenous the indigenous Mexican Oh, pardon me. I read that already. Truth and integrity. Truth is the quality of being true and uh, and allied senses. It is of the character of being or the disposition to be true to the person, true to principle, and true to cause, etc. Truth is conformity with fact and agreement with reality, accurate to correctness of statements or thought. Truth is the absence of counterfeit, absence of deceit, and is not supportive of imitation. I wanted to say imagination. Truth is... Referred to in a wider sense as honesty, sincerity, uprightness, righteousness, virtue, integrity. You know, all these lists that everybody keep putting out right now today about what they ain't going to do for a first date. Y'all try mine. I need to. Start focusing on yourself. You get that part right, I guarantee you them dates you're trying to have going to go right. Start being honest with yourself and with the people. And I guarantee you those things will start going right. You know, stop looking for ways to get over on people. But yet again, I digress. Pressing on. Integrity is the quality of being that reflects upon reality. An uncorrupted state. It is an ethical soundness of moral principle and virtue. Right is right. Truth is truth. Wrong is wrong. Law is law. And truth needs no apology. Bottom line. Because thieves use misrepresentation Colored legality, lies, deception, and suppression to justify their demo works. It does not follow that honor, admiration, or integrity has anything to do with the seats of power thereby attained by the European colonists. We, the natural people, have been and are now faced with the acceleration of inhumane treatments and the pro- prospects pardon me of the traditionally practiced occupation of european 
superiority dictums and subjected to many human rights abuses. These torts become even more obvious due to the colonists' deliberate manipulation of and the misaddressing of the prime social and political issues which deal with actual facts and the root truths about identity and about alien and illegal immigration in North America. Always a subject, huh? Hmm. And that word subject can go two ways just now. Of discussion and of servitude. Just so you know, look look those up. All right, what was that? It is an interesting dynamic to hear the most blatant immigrants on the planet, modern European, carp and arrogantly complain of indigenous peoples as being as being immigrants. Let's read that one one more time. It is an interesting dynamic to hear the most blatant immigrants on the planet carp and arrogantly complain of indigenous peoples as being immigrants. That's modern Europeans talking crap about Asiatic beings and their natural areas. Migrating, not emigrating, not immigrating. We've always migrated. There it is again, that that's that that one principle of so called freedom, which is liberty. Liberty of consciousness, your liberty of consciousness is your right to religion, the right of your movement, the right of being. And that one right of travel, actually movement, locomotion. Ingress and egress. Look how that's regulated, choked, choked. You're killed slowly. But yet again, I digress, pressing on. The social and political positions held by and published by the bombastic hate mongers and the demo government occupying the North ultimately are not in the best interest of the indigents of the land. Colonists, extortioners, and thieves are not and never have been in the business of telling truth, nor concerned with matters of preserving truth. Truth is not in the social political interest. Truth is not in their social political interest. Truth and integrity as a matter of culture has been absent from the lands and the peoples of the Americas due to the works and teachings of the demo European occupiers. Although many have suffered at their hands, it is also naive for the indigents to expect the demo Europeans to tell the truth about us, the indigents. These matters should be openly reviewed by the, by the concerned natural people and the public with resolutions and remedies as a goal. True world historic and basic civic instructions, including geography and geology information, needs to be reinstituted with fervent intent and absent of the present day U.S.Demo European misguidance. Such activities should be keenly monitored by 
unobstructed indigen civic groups, the organization of American states. O dot A dot S and by other uncompromised international human rights organizations and nations. Concept and conceptum. Concept and conceptum. In order to rightfully, truly, and honestly understand a thing, a system, a subject matter, a social, political dilemma, or an idea, we must examine the matter before us with an eye toward its constitution or make up. Thus, in order to resolve problems, we must resort to the highest science known to man. Mm -hmm. That high science is universally known as common sense. Common sense is the internal sense which is regarded as the common, united, bonded, and collective activation of and the functioning abilities of the five senses. These common senses are sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touched. Touch. We in harmony with nature and in accord with these divine given five senses. Correction. Divine given senses tools are endowed with the ability to form a higher single faculty which elevates the power of them all and is contradic contradistrict distinctive contradistinctive to intellect and will by way of this heightened mental faculty rooted in the five senses, we form our concepts or foundation understandings of our environment. And so, a concept is a thought or mental image of a person, place, thing, or idea upon which we as humans rely to reason and to design ETC. And so, with our divine, given common sense, and with reasoning, we will examine the words Aboriginal and Indigenous for value. Then we will examine the word immigrant for its value. Thus, our minds can be clear, more rational, and balanced as we travel the road of reasoning in order that we may com come to logical and amicable conclusions to resolve our apparent intersocial problems with a clear concept of an issue the people are enabled to understand what it what what is what who is who and right from wrong in relation to the proper concepts surrounding the subject matter of of immigrants in its proper light at Northwest Amexum, North America. Reality will then reveal the status of and identity and identify, correction, the persons who are illegal immigrants. In the matter of those persons of government officials concerned with the alleged immigration status of an indigenous 
Mexicans, and other true Central and South Almoroccans the resolution and answer to the American dilemma is very simple. The following standard affirmation of fact questionnaire can be applied equally and fairly to any human being walking the face of the planet. These questions apply to the questioner or questioners or inquisitor, inquisitors, as well as the one ones being questioned. Apply the following questions to the person or persons of interest and they themselves will indicate their true nation, identity, and country status. It will also expose those who are or have been misrepresenting themselves and who are actually colored or, or dishonest. In law, colored means a prima facie or apparent right or appearance as opposed to that which is real, actual, or true. This questionnaire would substantively prove more comprehensive, truer, and bona fide than most any current public documents now in use in this particular North American United States government. Apply the seven following poignant questions and then rationally contemplate upon the results. You will be alarmed and amazed at how the simple, correction, at how simple the truth can be known or what other facts become apparent and evident to the assuming, the unassuming among us. Always question persons or agents who claim to have authority over yourself and your property. They should always be put to question. Naivety will quickly become a memory. The burden of proof should always remain upon those who question someone else's status to produce written and documented proof of their own status. Affirmation of fact questionnaire. What is your proper name, attribute, and cognomen? Number two, what is your nationality and national name? Number three, what nation is connected to your nationality? Number four, describe your country's flag and nation national seal. Number five, on what continent is your na nation geographically located? Number six, are you indigenous to the land where you, where you now reside? Yes or no? Number seven, are you an immigrant? Explain. The above questions, if properly answered and without, without the intent to deceive, will accurately identify and geographically categorize a person or people and direct them toward their own vine and fig tree. All confusion about who is who relative to true immigrant status shall be resolved. A legitimate nationality card of identification can then be issued by the true and rightful government people to distinguish nationals from aliens. The name, the nationality, the nation, country, and the continent upon which that particular person's nation is located should not conflict with the nation's name and the truth of its geography or earth location. Proper person names and restored geography education, a reversal of demo-colonial reconstructed history, is a simple and elementary way to determine who is who 
and whether or not the person or persons in question are immigrant, immigrants to the land which may be in question or whether they are indigenous. There is nothing complicated about that. The indigenous are home and belong to the land and on the land, and the land belongs to them. The immigrant is a visitor or an invader, according to motive of their presence, is not at home and does not belong to the land or on the land. The land does not belong to them. Bottom line. As an example, review the following. As an example, review the following. A. A natural person who is Russian is not an American because Russia is not on neither correction not on either of the two the American continents north central south nor the adjoining islands B a natural person person who is Brazilian is an American and cannot be a European because Brazil is not a part of Europe. C, a natural person who is an Alaskan is an American, North, but is not Haitian, South American, yet both are Americans. D, a natural person who is French cannot be Mexican and therefore cannot be American. France is of Europe and Mexico is of America. A Frenchman, is an alien to America, and a Mexican is an alien to in France. This national and international truth and principle applies universally. E, a natural person who is Cuban is an American and cannot be an Englishman who is European. The one Cuban is American and the other Englishman is European. Two different continents, two different people. The Cuban is indigenous to America, the Englishman is not. Now, isn't the true national identity of a natural person discernible and not complicated at all? It is easy to find out who is legitimate in law and who is perpetuating a color or fraud. Thus, nationality and status conjoined with legitimate claims to authority and jurisdiction are easy to reason and to analyze. Tell the truth and there is no problem. Support the lie and intrusion abridgment social problems will continue to about the next logical step in reasoning which addresses the illegal immigrant problem is an analysis of world history and etymology to remove the fictitious names slave brands artificially put upon the lands and the natural peoples which were invented by demo european inquisitionists and slave holders mm -hmm. These prima facie tags and brands have given fraud support to alien intruder, birthright theft practices, and usurpation conquests. Truth is waiting for all the sincere among, us, among humanity to proclaim. Truth is waiting for, all, for any sincere or interested natural person to observe. Thus, in addressing the issues of aliens and immigrants, if someone or some people are complaining about an intrusion into their nation, country, land, home, 
then they have a political and moral right to ask the immigrant, immigrants, aliens, or non-indigenous person or persons to sub submit to permits of corporate activities or to go back to their own country, land, or home. When such legal status complaints are lodged or forwarded for public act, scrutiny, or review, ident or review identify the complaint. Tent. Let's repeat that. When such legal status complaints are lodged or forwarded for public act, scrutiny or review, identify the complainant. It is the complainant, correction, is the complainant indigenous to the land upon which they are making their claim? Are the complainants from another country, continent? The legitimate national who suffers the intrusion of another, non indigen to the land, also has the right to tax, to regulate, or to legislate the required conditions for any said immigrant to stay on or in the land country. Isn't it that, isn't that logical and reasonable? In ancient and modern jurisprudence, lex means law. Keep these law principles in mind. Lex semper dabit remedium means the law will always give a, re give a, re a remedy. Lex semper intendit quad covenit rationa. Rationi means the law always intends what is agreeable to reason. Lex securit ignorati means the law assists the ignorant. After all is said and done, consider this. The family of nations on the earth, planet have recognized and specified identities, and identity establishes a person's status in society. These logistical truths are coupled with their capacity to exercise the maxims of civil liberties and to enjoy the rights and immunities afforded them and secure for them under supreme constitutional protections and reservations of those inalienable rights. One can see and hear the many people and politicians lodging complaints about these immigrants about these immigrant laws and legal matters throughout the communications arena. Why aren't those com complainers held to the same standard? Hmm. Nations, through their delegated represented, res representative officials, Authorized, are authorized through described and limited authority to make laws to govern and to secure the inalienable rights of the people, peoples, of that particular nation to which the natural person, single or multiplied same units, belongs relative to the body politic. The body politic is a united group, specifically identified and organized for government.
Such a political body constitutes a nation, country, or state. Thus, the laws, persons, culture, geographical locations, ETC, of the designated nation, country, or people must be and always is specific. The above acquired information gathered from the questionnaire can be intelligently used as an authentic foundation to construct any legitimate nationality card of identification, particularly since so much ridicule is being made of who belongs and what. Correction. Particularly since so much ridicule is being made of who belongs in or to what nation or country. Therefore, geographical location information is a determinate factor. Determinate factor. It is not hard for any authority, delegated body politic, correction, delegated political body to really resolve the alleged immigration problems of North America of the distinguished, of the disingenuous politicians and counterfeit Americans really wanted to. (coughs) Pardon me. Let's reread that. It is not hard for any authority, delegated, political body to really solve the alleged immigration problems of North America if the disingenuous politicians and counterfeit Americans really wanted to. Straight like that. These same people would first start with proving who they really are for the public record. Any legitimate and unencumbered host nation can lawfully issue nationality cards of identification or regulate visas upon the verified questions above listed. The true indigent nation of note can then issue qualified and other true identification documents accordingly. Before the borders of any nation, real or imagined, can be regulated, its unencumbered authenticity authenticity must be universally confirmed by fact, reason, true geography, and sociology in order to obtain and declare the identity and thus the true status of anyone, there must be documentation which indicates true pedigree, name, nationality, continent, and a matching and verifiable connection to the national constitution, national seal, and to the national standard flag of that particular nation, people, or country. At that juncture, real, rational, Free, just, fair, and real sovereign politics can, by right, apply. Until the truth about name, heritage, nationality, and identity is seriously addressed with unsoiled and uncolored accompanying documentation, there will be immigration, confusion, artificial economic imbalance, and unsettling social political disorder and fraud. Let's read that last part of that paragraph one more time. Until the truth about name, heritage, nationality, and identity is seriously addressed with unsoiled and uncolored accompanying documentation, there will be immigration, 
confusion, artificial economic imbalance, and unsettling social, political disorder and fraud. Real simple. Cut the BS, get to the facts, get to the whole truth, not your truth, but the actual truth. And we can solve these issues. Aboriginal, indigenous, aboriginal is derived from the old Moorish Latin word aborigine which means the first and earliest known natural peoples and pertaining to culture related to their possessions, their customs, and their lands. Aboriginal is an adjective which qualifies marked and differentiated characteristics which Confirm a connection to and notes possession of the first natural people. Aboriginal is distinct from and confounded with immigrant and distinguished from European colonists. Indigenous is from the old Moorish Latin, Moorish Latin word indigenous, 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 maybe I D I G I N U S I indigenous. Yeah, that sounds more like it. Indigenous, which means born or produced naturally in a land or region and by natural law and heritage, rightfully associated with and bound to the soil. Thus, the ancient jurisprudence term natural person. Jurisprudence means right words. Immigrants and peregrines, peregrinus, immigrants, peregrinus. The word immigrant is derived from the old Moorish Latin word emigratum, emigratum, emigrant them immigrantem which means one who is not a native or that which or that which emigrates and more specifically referenced to a person or people who migrates from one place country or land to another place or country as a settler the settler is one who comes to or immigrates to another land with the purpose and intent to establish a colony in a land or place not their own in origin. A settler is an immigrant, and an immigrant is a settler. These are synonyms. Thus, the word, the, the old word, the, thus, this old Moorish Latin term, wandering foreign traveler, was applied to the immigrant 
Albion, European colonists. Peregrine, peregrinium, greenum, or peregrinus means wandering, foreign, traveler, and translates in history as pilgrim and pilgrims. The migratory movements of a people who colonize someone else's land does not and cannot change their descent nature. They are still who their forefathers were, Europeans, modern Europeans at that. There is no shame in that. However, they also cannot impose upon or dismiss the nationality of others and politically, socially, and economically steal the natural people's birthrights by trading places, altering history and records, and who, by color, misrepresent themselves as Al Moroccan Americans. Free white person. If there is going to be peace and prosperity in any civilized country, the government of that particular country or nation must not deny the people their right to a name and a nationality and must not suppress proper and pristine education. The people and citizens must be taught the distinctions and relationship between identity and status. Identity is the fact that a subject, a person, a person, a thing, or an idea presented before a court or before society is the same as it is represented or claimed to be and is able to be authenticated. Status literally means standing, the state or condition, the social position, and the legal relation of the individual to the rest of the community. Status relates to the rights the duties, the capacities, and the incapacities which determines the rank of a person or persons to a given class. It is a legal, personal relationship which is not temporary in its nature, nor terminable at the mere will of the parties or of interest or with which third persons and the state are considered, correction, are concerned. Civiliter mortus is a legal status and law term, which means dead in the eyes of the law. It is the social and political condition of one who has lost his civil rights, civil liberties, and capacities, and is some summarily accounted as dead in the, in the law, dead in law. The civil litter mortu status is heavily enforced and is often deceitfully veiled by U.S. Demo politicians and their assigned and compromised community leaders as civil rights arguments and as racism. In full life, is the social and legal status of a person or people politically continuing in both physical and civil 
existence that is neither actually dead nor civil literature mortus. In full life is the opposite of civil death or civil literature mortus. The United States of America as a government and the people who are a part of it are no different than others in their obligations and responsibilities to keep the people abreast of their rights and their civil duties to themselves and to society. They must remain absent of a color of law, a color of authority, and shun a distortion of identity, of status, and command constitutional enforcement. They are bound by and to the supreme law just as others are. Unfortunately, the North American continent suffers from a massive number of politically handicapped natural people who have and do endure such negative miseducation practices as to be socially relegated to poverty and to banal legal abuses. Any natural person who has been past or present denied or limited in basic civil knowledge and responsibilities should be made aware of the truth about the legal implications involving diversity and status in society. One of the greatest and most injurious misconceptions about institu institutionalized U dot S dot Demo miseducation involves the taught and propagated funk fiction that human beings are by natural origin identified by colors black, white, red, orange, yellow, ETC, brown. We the real Al Moroccans, Americans, will aid in clearing up some of that demo miseducation by exposing the universally known truth about white as actually being a social status, caste, designation of rank, and that it is not legitimately a NATO identity, i.e. nationality. Free white people is a culture and status law term used in ancient and modern jurisprudence. One more time. Free white people is a culture and status law term used in ancient and modern jurisprudence. Jurisprudence means the right words. We are aware of it being used in reference to the immigrating Europeans due to the albino complexion of their skin, but that does not hold a legitimate identity. The connotative white designation as applied to Europeans and to their descendants was due to the absence of melanin and is only a political cultural fad which was initiated at Philadelphia, Pennsylvania by way of the Knights of Columbus and the Ku Klux Klan 
both during the years 1854 to 1863. The white people social and legal status phrase has no like social application to the European immigrants prior to that time in history and cannot be rightfully, truthfully, nor correctly made to be applied retroactively to the chronicles of the Northwest Territories of the planet. The same retroactivity argument can be made in relation to the contemporary black and Negro straw man, man of straw brands coined by European Dutch slave masters around 1779 and with deviance coercively applied to subjugated indigenous Moors for surety, bonding purposes, and for legal chattel manipulations for corporate state property economics. Chattel slavement. Employment slavement. Slaving. Enslaving of your movements, i.e., so-called driver's license. Enslavement of your habits in life to, to provide a substance for your belly and a roof over your head, sustenance for your belly, and substance for your, your body to move and breathe and, and have a life. to have a roof over your head, peace of mind, you know, liberty of consciousness. This is what that is. And this is what you're being robbed of. Unalienable or unalienable and inalienable rights. Inalienable and unalienable or inalienable, unalienable rights. So-called God-given rights. Birth rights. Rights of existence. Human rights. This is what you're being robbed of. And then you're being forced to pay their tax to do business. It's all messed up, bro. We've all been forced, coerced, threat, duress, coercion. I'm not saying I'm exempt from it. I know that by ancient status, I'm not responsible for no tax. because I'm Aboriginal Indigenous. I'm the natural being of the planted, planet, planted. Children of the sun, I am said child. The gods are my fathers and mothers, and I am their child. That makes me God's son. God 
God, self, God, body, God, mind. I have said that ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. That's in your Bible that you covet, yet do not comprehend. I suggest you read that whole chapter, Psalms 82, and then focus on verse 6. <laughs> and double back and read the whole giant again, and then focus on verse 6. And double back, so that's a triple back. Read it, focus on verse 5 and 6, and focus on verse 6. <laughs> but no, all right, so where was I? But yeah, that's what you're being robbed of, is your humanity, your your uh, divine manifestation in this existence. On the earth plane. And the only foreigner here is the one who keeps telling everybody else they're a foreigner. You dig? Let's get back to this so I can uh, wrap up for this day's reading. Pressing on. The following is an excerpt from Henry Campbell's. Black's Law Dictionary of Ancient and Modern Jurisprudence, 4th Edition, West Publishing Company. All lawyers, scholars, professors, judges, and industrialists are well aware of this information. So why is it absent from the schools? Free white person, referred in the Naturalization Act as amended by the Act as amended by Act, July 14, 1870, has meaning naturally given to it when first used in Statute 103, Section C, Number 3, meaning all persons belonging to the European races then commonly counted as white and their descendants, including such descendants in other countries to which they have e-migrated. Free white persons. It includes all European Jews, more or less intermixed with Celtic, Scandinavian, Teutonic, Iberian Latin, Greek, and Slavic descendants and Slavic descent. It includes Magyars, Magyars, Laps, Finns, and the Basque, and Albanians. It includes the mixed Latin, Celtic, Iberian, and Moorish Latin inhabitants of Spain and Portugal, the mixed Greek, Latin, Phoenician, and North African inhabitants of Sicily and the mixed Slav and Tartar inhabitants of South Russia. It, free white person, does not mean Caucasian race, Aryan race, or Indo-European races, nor the mixed Indo-European, Dravidian, Semitic, and Mongolian people who inhabit Persia a Syrian of Asiatic birth and descent will not be entitled to be come a naturalized citizen of the United States as being a free white person. Ex parte Shahid D dot C dot S dot C two zero five 
F812. And these are just case laws as it relates to that. And so we can see and observe that in law, white person does not constitute the real or true identity of any person or people but is, in fact, and in law, a legal status phrase, which applies to many different nations, nationalities, nationalities, and persons, regardless of skin complexion. Teachers and sociologists employed in the U.S.Demo schools and in other demo institutions which dominate North American society are very careful not to allow these facts to make any appearance into the literature or curriculum of students under their tutelage. Therefore, what has been faked and alleged as identity, color, or identity complexion has little or nothing to do with true national identity nor with the true or rightful status of any person or people attached to the human family. Thus, the alleged color of a person or people does not really address diversity, only nationality and identity does. Any controversy or legal status issues involving immigrant or immigrants thusly and automatically presents the legal issue of diversity. And by due process of law necessitates the clarification of status, venue, jurisdiction, and above all true national identity. Geography. Geography means earth, description, and is that science that describes the earth's surface, dealing with matters of form and its physical features of its climates, its productions, and of its natural and political divisions. Nation and nationality is that political, social, and consanguine, consanguine subcategory of, of social and political matters relative to, geograph, relative to geography and sociology. In today's arena of world politics, the words and phrases such as illegal immigrants and illegal aliens have been arrogantly ignorantly and loosely thrown about with very little challenge as to their authenticity, validity, integrity, or truth. And since so many people have recently shown serious and sensitive concern for and over the matrilineal, correction, the materiality, of, le of illegal immigrant immigrants and illegal aliens, it is only fair and responsible for any caring natural person or legitimate government body to examine those unclear or perplexing status issues by international standards. This should be, correction, this should effectuate peace and prosperity for all. This should effectuate peace and prosperity for all. This should effectuate peace and prosperity for all. It is, therefore, indispensably important that we all look at and dissect 
the status circumstances which brought about the immigration problem. Then we can better resolve the artificially created confusion, misinformation, hate mongering, propagandation, propagation, hate mongering, propagation, and the demo impose colorable economic and political abuses, i.e. Gaza. Free all the press people. And pay your dues. To be more, uh, correction, geopolitics. To be more specific in our examinations of the alleged immigration problem of North America, we examine geography and will now expand our analysis towards geo or toward geopolitics. Geopolitics is the systematic and organized study of internal and continental geographical features relative to the physical and economic correction, relative to the physical, the economic, and the anthropographic. Read that one more time. Relative to the physical the economic and the anthropographic. I'll look that up too in a minute. This embodies the essential factors in shaping the governmental policies of a country or nation, especially dealing with the foreign policy matters for achieving national security and distinguished by viewing the state as an organism with requirements for growth from politically from political geography which treats static conditions anthropology is the science which treats of the human race and the human organism and of the characteristics the distinction the distribution the origin and the classification and relationships of the race. Read that again. Anthropology is the science which treats of the human race and the human organism and of the characteristics, the distribution, the origin, and the classification and relationships of the race. Sociology is the science or study which treats of the origin, the history, and the constitution of human society, and it's generally and is generally referred to as social science. Science is the state or fact of knowing, and is knowledge or cognizance of something specified, learned, or implied. Therefore, we have the social political tools available to us which affords all true, honest, and reasonable persons to understand the strongly help positions and issues involving the current social and political attacks which are being heaped upon and directed toward Mexicans and other al American nationals from the varied American states 
in the northwestern and southwestern hemisphere of the planet. These social and political attacks are emanating mostly and most often from Europeans and their descendants residing in and at North America. It is also patently interesting to note that there are many eager participants in such self-righteous bantering, yet not many others who would openly speak honestly about the controversy surrounding such terse and unsubstantiated political phrases. This particularly applies to the North American continent and the descendants of the European colonists in their false claims made against indigenous Al Moroccans Americans. False and colored social and political law and history coupled with the imposed miseducation more often than not is strongly involved with the illegal alien and and illegal immigrant statements. Since there is no such propagated concern now hoisted upon the world about these phrases, we, Moabites, Moors, being Aboriginal and Indigenous peoples of the land, Almorak, America, will address the alien and immigration issues and do hereby bring substantive challenge to measure these misplaced social political words and phrases on their true merit. Islam. That's it for today's reading. We'll get back to that, the rest of this, um, in about two more sessions. You dig? And uh, we'll be picking back up on page 32, starting with a new set of details and paragraphs, ETC. And like I said, we'll probably break this down, the rest of the book, in two more sessions. I am R.H. Celine Bay, Ronnie Heim, Celine Bay. More American National. giving honors and thanks to the gods of the universe, the most high, supreme honors, the most high, I and I, supreme honors to the prophet of these days, of these most recent times, who would have been mislabeled and misnumbered as a Negro, black, or colored in B.C. To include other terms such as Afro-American, African-American, Indian, Native American, American Indian, Latino, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, appreciate that brother a whole lot. He's the only brother that I know that risked, risked, risked it all. Risked it all. He risked it all. He laid it on the line. And said... Know that you are not Negro, black, or colored. You have a nation, a pedigree, and it is Moorish American. Until next time, do remember the five will keep you straight. And the two are your saving grace. That's love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, nationality, nationality, and divine creed, i.e. birthrights.
Peace.